Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Jordan, rheumatologist at BJC Health in Sydney, Australia. Today I wanted to talk about specialised DMARD medications. Uh, DMARD stands for Disease Modifying Anti-Rheumatic Drugs and it applies to all the medications that are used to treat uh, the conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, ankylosing spondylitis. The initial treatment that you'll usually be offered will be what's called conventional DMARDs. And this includes four main medications, methotrexate, leflunamide, sulfasalazine, or hydroxychloroquine. If these medications have not been effective uh, and you've used them for a long enough period, uh, often the next step will be to switch to the specialized DMARD medications. Uh, these medications are generally quite expensive and so if the government is the payer of these medications in your country, there's usually very strict rules on who can and can't get these medications. If you pay for them for yourself, you may be able to access them at any point, but that's an entirely different uh, situation. There's two main groups of medications that are called specialised DMARDs. The uh, ones which have been out longer are called biologic medications. These are antibodies that are produced, so they're biologic. Um, and because they're antibodies, they have to be given in injection form. There's uh, a number of these out on the market, perhaps eight or 10, um, and they block different molecules in the body which are causing the inflammation which leads to your symptoms. Uh, these injections, um, depending on which one you're on, are given at different intervals. Some are weekly, some are fortnightly, some are monthly, and some are even every three months or even every six months. There's a couple of them that are given through the intravenous system where you have to attend a hospital setting and have a, a drip put in. Um, but most of them are injections given by syringe or auto-injector pens that uh, you can be trained up to, to do at home. The other main group of medication is called the small molecule um, medications. Uh, these ones uh, at the current point in time are all JAK inhibitors. There's uh, many other molecules in development. It's a very exciting time for new medications in this area. The benefit of these ones is that they are tablet form. Um, some are once daily, some are twice daily. Um, so they can be more convenient uh, for some people. Storage is easier, travel is easier. And I would expect these medications to have an increasingly expanding role in the conditions that we treat. So uh, overall, to summarize, there's two main groups of specialized medications, the biologics and the small molecules. Uh, if you're struggling with your disease, please make sure you talk to your treating uh, rheumatologist about these medications as they, as they certainly are very effective in treating the conditions uh, that we treat.